Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> what if it wasn't multiple and it's just like a s- singular like sclerosis? No, no. <laughs> one sclerosis. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? <laughs> one sclerosis, multiple sclerosi. Multiple sclerosi. Is that something to do with the scrotum? <laughs> <laughs> It's just uh, like cactus and cacti. Fuck know, you if you like say cactuses. Who says cactuses? The fuck, I don't know. Who says penises? It's peni. Peni. Mm-hmm. peni? Mm-hmm. It is peni. Yeah. I believe. You would be correct. I cannot peni it. <laughs> <laughs> it's unpeniable. Damn, why do you, gotta, why do you f- always gotta fucking one up me? Because <laughs> he's a better host than you. Well, I want to start this off with a story. <laughs> Oh, you let's just let's hear it. No, no, I want to hear it. Go ahead. Um, well, not a story of myself, but I wanted to talk to you about the religion you started whenever you were. Um, oh, how old were you? Were you like 15, 16? Started your own religion? 16, 17. What yeah. the fuck? It's legal in Texas? Yes. Would you like to take <laughs> it from here? I think All that's right. fucking hilarious. So, <coughs> one summer, uh, me and my friend had watched this thing or this documentary about how religion is kind of screwed up and how the tax codes are kind of fucked up so then we decided okay why don't we take advantage of this and make a religion so that way we can get a whole bunch of free shit and maybe get some money from it (laughs) it's like one day we sat down and we were both such noble intentions oh my god we were both (laughs) drunk as shit high as shit we were just fucked up and we started writing a bible a whole ass Bible. We wrote down. <laughs> <laughs> we wrote down creeds for it. We had a whole Jesus. fucking backstory. Like we were gonna go into places and be like, "Hey, here's why you should follow this religion." Or are you down on your luck? Well, we're here to help. <laughs> we weren't. We're pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, the religion is like wherever you're at in life is where you're supposed to be. It's where your spirit is supposed to be at. So like we had this whole backstory. We're like. These little sprites of life just wanted to be something, and so then they created it. So, like, each sprite of life, like, one sprite of life was like, fuck it, I'm going to make the fucking earth. They became the earth. And then, like, a sprite of life was like, I want to become a fucking human. (laughs) He's a human. She's a human. It's a a human. (laughs) But, uh, so basically, it, it... it incorporates everybody. So, like, that way no one feels shitty about themselves. So, like, say, like, you're a fucking, like, you s- robbed a store. But then ours is like, hey, you robbed a store, but guess what? Where you're at in life is where you're supposed to be. That happened for a reason, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically faith. And so then you draw in on people's fucking insecurities. And they're like, you know what? I robbed that store. But, hey, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> you know? Is it so actually legal in Texas? Yeah, it's so filed in the state of Texas. It's called sanctism. Sanctism. Sanctum is like skanktism. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's uh, <laughs> that's reserved for strip clubs. I uh, <laughs> and so we we fucking filed it, and then uh, we were we had flyers, and we were ready to go up to like Chicago and start handing them out and shit. We never went through with it, but yeah, san- sanctus is like light or something in in uh you should have gone to prisons <laughs> just <laughs> hand them out of prisons we, you no, know? we straight up thought about that because we thought murderers are gonna feel bad about themselves but like guess what but if then we hear. thought how are they gonna give us money they aren't so <laughs> no because they're uh, true. i mean you can work in prison for money yeah, 36 money cents can, an not, hour not money you can fucking give us that's true Fuck. yeah so i mean that's basically it. like we stopped it and then We started to write a TV show, and then we just kind of put that on the back burner. And it's still on the back burner, and maybe it might pop up one day. Like, I don't know. But, yeah. Sounds like the Church of Serendipity. What what is that? Uh, It's basically good things happen to you whenever you're not looking for them. Okay. Pretty much. It's just the very dark side of that. Ah. Okay. So I think it just I can get behind that. Just justifying bad shit, basically. <laughs> no, like, like <laughs> this is where I'm supposed to be in life. <laughs> like, literally, that's like, because no good person is good. Well, no, good people might, but no good person is typically going to be like, this is where I'm supposed to be at in life. 
No, they're probably going to be like, no, I need to dedicate my life to this, and I need to do this. A bad person is going to be like, no, what I did isn't that bad, because it's what, it. it's what the spirit wanted. It's like, exactly. dude, you took your dick out at a petting zoo. What are you <laughs> saying? <laughs> well, it's what the fucking spirit wanted. What the fuck well, do you did want? Did you see what that sheep was wearing? <laughs> 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 and, like, we had, we had this ritual where you put, okay, so you got a fire, and you put earth on it so like dirt you put grass because these were all the, the the natural elements and then like at the end you would pour water on it and that would mean that like all the natural elements come together so everything in nature like everything that's supposed to be right yeah it all links up somehow and uh and then we w- like we were planning on getting alcohol for free because we were saying that it was going to be part of our ritual because like <laughs> pure alcohol purifies the soul <laughs> <laughs> And rotisserie chicken was going to be free because that's what we had to feed the people. <laughs> rotisserie, chicken. <laughs> rotis- rotisserie chicken? Oh, a whole ass rotisserie chicken. I could eat one. You can buy those for $6 at, like, any shopping place, honestly. Yeah, but it's but fucking tax-free. Tax. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, like, basically, we went off the song. Free as a bird, but it was a free rotisserie bird. chicken. Free as a rotisserie chicken. Free as a <laughs> so it's like Leonard Skinner combined with Avatar: The Airbender. Oh hell yeah! Yeah. <laughs> oh hell yeah! I do have a question though. Like, how is what I- what natural element is grass? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> we were sick. We were six, seventeen years old. You think we thought this shit out? No, we just went with it. Just what would that be? Just life? I mean, life? Sh- yeah, uh, like nature? Earth? Like Earth wait, wouldn't hold, Earth on, be hold, na- hold on. Hold on. Earth. Water. water. Fire. Air. 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 It was air. All the four elements. It was air. Grass was air. Wait, why would it not be Earth? It grows out of the Earth. All right, guys. We didn't <laughs> fucking think this <laughs> that much through. Fuck it. I wanted to right. dissect I guess we should have like, put religion. what would be like a vape? Air, right? All right. We should have put a vape on it, but at that time, everyone had kanger tags. <laughs> a what? Were they what? Kanger tags. What's a kanger tag? Tanger, kanger tags and segelis. What's a segeli? <laughs> they were the vapes people were ripping. They were the. Oh, I've never heard of those. You little didn't little have one of those big ass like box mod vapes? No, yeah, that's what we're, that's what I'm talking about. So I didn't about. have one, but everyone in Washmo did. Like all the the ones you gotta wear a shirt pocket around just to be able to put yeah. it in your pockets. The <laughs> ones where you. That, that, that sounded really fucking. Yeah, that sounded, that that sounded pretty fucking accurate. I heard I'm not gonna lie. Vapes rip in my. <laughs> <laughs> just the the knowing to do it in the microphone and everything, <laughs> just on point, on point. Yeah, a part of me thinks that he's done this before into a microphone, and he just sits there day yeah. in day out and like practices. Because I can't do it. No, yeah. If I'm like done with my homework and shit, it's just like I kind of just practice vapes. So <laughs> 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 uh, oh, this one burnt pot. <laughs> I was expecting something. Now you have to. No, now you, you got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that bad. I wasn't that bad. I wasn't that bad. Spot. I didn't have anything. It's like some ASMR. I call this one popcorn lawn. <coughs> <laughs> it's home. Is that just a myth? Popcorn lung? No, popcorn lung's a real thing. Like, my. Alright, so sophomore year of college, my parents found out I was vaping. And they were, like, messaging me all these fucking bullshit articles about popcorn lung. It's the people who have the big ass, like, box mods who accidentally swallow their own juice that get popcorn lung. Because, like, if you swallow the fucking juice, that gives, like, that fucks up your lungs pretty much, gives you a disease. You start forming these little things in your lungs that look like popcorn, and then you basically uh, have to go to the hospital. The hospital? The hospital. That nice. is scary. It. I mean, six people have died from vaping, and it's not because of fucking jewels. Yeah, I, I just want to say that. Six it's because of those uh, six it's six black market six carts, carts, dude. Yeah, yeah black yeah, market carts for THC. Though. Yeah, right? it's, it's, it's mm-hmm. like dank vapes. Like... Uh-huh. Dank so vapes scare the fuck out of so me many now. Fake Supreme ones too. Oh yeah. If you don't go to Colorado and buy a, like a fucking actual like 
fucking uh, pod from there. Like, I don't trust it. It was made in a garage. Yeah, it's made in a garage as far as I'm concerned. Why did the media choose to cover that, like, out of nowhere? That's all you heard about for about three, four days. I'm, it's like, big news. Yeah. I mean, we we had this whole, like, thing fighting against big tobacco, and then big vape comes along. You can't find any actual bad things that come along with it other than popcorn lung. So they're just, like, trying to – they're latching on to anything. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's my that's my, like – take on it but like i don't know there might be some actual truth behind it like we don't know the long-term effects of well fuck juuling. <laughs> <laughs> but like who knows like i mean it can't be that i mean it's better than for it's better th- for you than fucking fucking cigarettes well they take a while to kill you i mean yeah I'll tell you that. They i mean s- we're doing the world a favor that. like the baby boomers didn't smoke enough cigarettes to die early enough so like we're gonna all die by oh, 60 shit. and we're gonna do the world a favor Exactly. We're not going to fuck up the earth like the fucking baby boomers did. Uh, yeah. Sure as hell not going to fix it. <laughs> well, I mean, the next generation will figure it out, not us. That's just not The next generation is the one picking up the jewels and the vapes the earliest, so are they really going to fix it? No, they're not. They're going to make it worse. <laughs> yeah, dude, I have a buddy who's... All right, so my roommate's little brother, I think he's like 14, 15, something like that, and he's been vaping for like a year or two. That's just bananas to me that like how young these kids are starting. Oh, I know. Oh, no. I, I, I completely understand the bans of, like, high schools on them. Like, I understand the reason that people, like, um, raise the age, of, age to buy, like, nicotine products at 21 because, like, it's a problem. It's, a, it's, a, it's a serious problem. If you're a senior in high school, I know I totally would have done this if I was a senior in high school and, like, vapes were, like, a big thing back then. Honestly, we used to make fun of vapes back then. But anyway, uh, if I was 18 years old and then I knew, like, some freshmen there – and you just flip them and sell them to the freshmen. Why not? Oh, yeah. Flip them for, like, ten extra bucks. A yeah, pop. right? Yeah. They're like just trying easy. to vape and vibe. They're just trying exactly. to – They want to be, vape like, and, they want to be like the kids vibe. in college, so they're just like, I want to vape. It, that's pretty much the extent of it. I used to do that with condoms and the freshmen. So can, can't condoms? you buy condoms at any age? Yeah. But they're – They had no idea? No, you, you no they knew. They're just too scared to walk up to a Walmart and, like, oh. walk through the Walmart with condoms. So like I used to fucking sell condoms to friends. There's That's there's bad, still though. like Bonnie. a certain like amount of embarrassment that I get going to like come and go or some shit and oh, being it's like a flex. Uh, That's what I mean, I'm yeah, saying. like you're having like, sex and yeah, they're not like fuck get you. This 40 pack. But like <laughs> 36 pack. <laughs> this 36 pack of, of Do they extra, make those? Uh, s- what? Yeah. Of Dude, extra large. I just get like the four packs. No. Four packs. How many times are you having sex a day? I don't fucking know. What a day? Yeah. Because I'm having sex zero times. <laughs> so I'm not buying any. I don't waste my money. Can you go negative? <laughs> that's where I stand. That's called <laughs> that's going okay. raw dog. I believe that's masturbation. Is it? Uh-oh. I don't know. Do you negate? Mas- fuck it. I don't count. No. We're not talking about this. <laughs> anyway. So, like, actually going off that, what? I sound like a fucking white kid in a, in a lecture Podcast. hall. No. That's like... Piggybacking off what you said, but uh, um, no, I'm gonna take what you said. I'm gonna roll with that. All right, all right. Can we continue on? Yes. All right, yes. All right. So, uh, rolling with what you, um, I used to go to people, go to Wal, go to people, go to Walmart with people, and would buy the funniest shit and i actually asked this on the manny smokes podcast about like what three things could you buy that would make the cashier most uncomfortable and the reason i asked that is because we would test it out dude i would buy like like condoms lube and like uh, a fucking like plunger or like a banana (laughs) you know to make the cashier be like dude what the fuck and we would never go to self-checkout we would always go (laughs) to the main cashier Someone Dude. was telling me about their friend that lost a bet and had to go in Walmart and buy, like, it was, like, a fucking, a fucking, oh, there we go. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> like Sounds a ski better. mask, duct tape, condoms, and, like, I don't know, rope or some shit. It was something ridiculous, like gloves. What did they say? What did the cashier say? I don't know. I just heard he had to do that because he lost a bet, so they were, like. I feel like I'd be more upset about spending the money on shit I'm not going to even use. Exactly. Well, 
I feel like as a cashier, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I now I feel obligated to murder because this is just this where is I should be I in bought. life. This is where I'm and supposed to be in life. Exactly. <laughs> what was the religion again? Sanctism. Sanctism uh-huh. tells Sanctism. me to. Exactly. Exactly. I can justify anything. I bought all that shit from Walmart. I might as well do it. <laughs> Sorry, I just thinking about the religion. <laughs> the concept of that religion. That is just so fucking funny. I mean, honestly, just give me money. <laughs> it's, I mean, I, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, it's real, actually. Uh, we've done the science on it, and it uh, turns out we've done the it science is real. on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sanctism's real. That's funny. My my favorite article headline, which I didn't read it, I just saw like a picture of this online on, uh, if you guys know Sam Tripioli. Uh, mm-hmm. he's, it, he's like the big conspiracy guy. He's also a stand-up comedian. But yeah. anyway, he posted this on his Instagram. I thought it was fucking hilarious. So see if I can remember the headline. It was priests. Oh, what was it? Priests who was also attracted to Satism uh, pisses in communion wine and is also a rapist or something <laughs> like that. Like It was like the most loaded fucking headline I've ever seen. He urinates in communion, communion wine. He's into Satanism secretly, and then he also oh rapes my. children. Oh my God! It's like a double agent. Damn, that's yeah. one of those. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have like to I look. love you, God. I'm gonna have Hail to look Satan. it up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to yeah, look it up. Touch I, some boys. But look it guys, up. Look <laughs> it up right now. You guys ever look up the um, you know the whole big thing that was like look up the date of your birth and then like mm-hmm. Florida man. <laughs> yeah. You guys ever do that? No. Mine is you should, dude. It's no, fucking hilarious. I did. Mine is Florida man gets six tr- people drunk while he's sober and asks them controversial questions. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> it's, it was yeah. meant to be. I heard he was arrested. Subtle. Uh, <laughs> Subtle. Uh, I was <laughs> arrested the other night actually for a DUI. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, here's the thing. Here's shameless. The best. Shameless hey, right now. It's where you're meant here. to be in life. <laughs> <laughs> here's the best kicker. I wasn't drunk, but still got arrested for it. So. Wait, why? Uh, because he thought I pa- he thought I failed the sobriety test, like I, like I d- and here's where sobriety tests are rigged. Like I did it, like I walked in a straight line, turned, did all the tests, did the eye test, and so like, um, after we got back to the police station and like I blew a point oh five, so I'm under the legal limit. Then I, like I straight up asked him because I was cool about the whole situation, like I wasn't fighting with him or anything. And I was like, so then why did I fail the the sober test or the sobriety test? And he was like, well, when you walked, you uh, you turned around wrong. You, you, you took two steps instead of the one like I told you. It's like, dude, that's just because I'm fucking dumb. Like, that's not <laughs> that I'm drunk. I actually did a sobriety test for the first time like last week, and I was drunk. And I did pass. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like the opposite. That's it's what the I'm opposite. talking about, dude. The system See, is. Rigged. I think the syst- I think police officers are just the way that police officers in the United States are kind of like the way they are is kind of fucked. Like they, you could be doing so much more productive shit, like going after like meth labs and shit, mm-hmm. but you're sitting on the highway waiting for people to go like seven miles over the speed limit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like quotas. what the fuck is that? Quotas. Qu- <laughs> quotas are bullshit. It, but I'm like, just saying. You, know what, like, I agree. you could have. Yeah. Agree. It, instead of like arresting me and charging me for a DUI, like you could have easily, well, I didn't get charged with a DUI because I wasn't drunk. But like instead of arresting me for uh, that, for not being drunk, like you could have easily just gone to my apartment and busted me for the meth. Like that's <laughs> way more exactly. fucking important. Like, I mean, how, dude, how, how hard are meth addicts actually trying to hike hide that, like the fact that they're meth addicts? Did you see it in my apartment? No. Well, pretty damn hard. I don't think you're a meth <laughs> addict, though. Been to come I feel like I would know. One a.m. What? Have you ever been in a come and go after one a.m.? Yes, I have. It's a scary place. Mm-hmm. That's why they have black lights in the bathroom. The one Did shut it? down. The one right next to campus. They shut down after one a.m. because they had a shooting there. Yeah. No. Nope. Go there anymore. Sophomore year, I think they had a sh- robbery there. Like my first few weeks of college, and I was just like, yeah. "Holy shit!" No, I remember that. Yeah, no, that was scary. Around. And then it was like last year, I think, they had another shooting there, didn't they? Yeah. I saw yeah. a fight in the parking lot one night, too. Mm. I that saw... Real ghetto-ass fight. I saw a fight last night, too. But real ghetto-ass fight, and, like, the two girls were screaming. I'm, like, the only person in the parking lot besides them, and I'm just, I just put my windows down with my buddy and record the entire event. And 
just Cord slowly, I get slowly kind of driving out. I get kind of ballsy at the come and go right next to campus. I like leave my phone in there. I, I lock my, my car. car. I lock my car, but like I leave my phone in there. And I'm like, dude, it's super easy to break a window. Actually, super funny fucking story about the come and go next to campus. We're talking about the one on yeah, Elm, one right? on Elm right okay. there, right next to campus. <coughs> so, one night I think I was, I think I was a sophomore. I don't know for sure, but we went in there and dude, this this worker is like has long hair. Not that that matters, but he does long, silky, smooth hair, like like chiseled body. I'm I have no idea what the fuck he looks like, <laughs> but like he, like he did have long hair, and he just is sitting there, like arms crossed, just pissed, like he just looks pissed. So he had me riled up until he said he was pissed. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I like an like, angry guy. Who knows? No longer hard. <laughs> But Status. So anyway, so like me and my friend go in job. there and like I grab a bag of chips because I'm high as shit. And so I'd like a bag of chips. And so I get Doritos. I go to check out and he just looks at me. He goes, take it. And I was like, what? <laughs> and he goes, go have a good night. And so then I started like walking out with the Doritos and he didn't fucking like he didn't stop me. No alarm went off. And we went back to the house with the Doritos. And I was like, holy shit. And so then... Wait, I, why do you just give it to you? I don't get that. Dude. dude. And so then, we, like, we went back there. And, like, I just started piling up shit in my arms. And, like, I just put it on the fucking table. Like, I had four bags of chips, like, some fucking... Uh, energy <laughs> drinks like I had some Gatorade again I'm high so like I'm having a good fucking time I had some candy and he's like have a good night nothing nothing N- nothing and then and so was then was this dude just trying to get fired you think uh, that, no that's my assumption yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sure that was his fuck. last night there no, b- because like because uh, and then I told like I posted in a, a group me and I was like hey yo uh Free shit at come and go. <laughs> you come and you go. Like this is the one time. This is the one time this thing is amply named. The adage is true. And, and so, uh, and then I just see people literally scarfing the shelves and just running out of there. <laughs> and then, uh, sure enough, uh, a friend of mine knew this guy, and they're like, "Oh yeah, he got fired. He was pissed because he had to work the late shift. So he was just, <laughs> so he was just letting people go with." Free shit the whole night because he was pissed that he had to work late in place were, of someone. I thought you were going to say you didn't know how to re- work the register or some shit. And he was like, fuck it, just go. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, just go. He didn't take, understand take how to the shit. change. Yeah. I love how the whole story started with a bag of Doritos. Oh, yeah. And then we went back just to test it and be like, all right, there's no cops coming. Uh, yeah, we're good to fucking go. And then we went back there, scarfed down. Went out and then before I know it, there's people literally just grabbing the shelves. I would have grabbed some bottles. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah if he wasn't, ch- if he wasn't making you pay, he wasn't checking your ID. Yeah, I'm not. Could that get him in legal like, trouble too? Um, here's where oh, I get <laughs> well, it's getting him in legal trouble. The fact that he's giving shit away, but like, oh yeah, yeah. but more legal he, trouble. The fact that yeah, alcohol. like definitely, if like a 12 year old looking motherfucker walked in there that obviously wasn't 21, like if, if he just like said, go ahead, take it. And it's a bottle of fucking, like, what, uh, Smirnoff or some shit. He would get in so much legal trouble. Yeah, a bottle of Smirnoff is fucked up. A bottle of a Ruskrat's fine. So but you think yeah, he, no. didn't, he didn't just get fired, he got fined, you think? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh really? definitely. They can go through those security cameras and just be like, you gave all this shit away. $5, $10, $15. He fucked himself. He thought, yeah. he, was fucking, he, thought he was fucking come and go, but come and go is probably making so much more money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Because, like, it's, it's, a, you know, it's not even a loss for them. Yeah, because people walk in there and they're like, $5, $10, $15, $150, because I'm <laughs> positive that, that that's what I fucking grabbed. And honest <laughs> to God, I don't think that I thought once about grabbing a bottle of alcohol. I think I'm fucked up for that. Mm. I mean, that's a loss right there. I think it's always in your back of your mind, like, if you're not 21 and, like, that shit, if that rare mm-hmm. occurrence happens, like, it, they might check my ID still. Just yeah. because, like, you can get s- in so much fucking trouble if you try to buy an out bottle of alcohol. If you're not 21. I mean, fuck. Even if are. you are. Even if, I mean, yeah, even if you are. Dude, the first first time I bought alcohol, I was at the um, corner. It was this gas station on the corner of Grand and National, right by that church next to Craig yeah. Hall. I walk in there. 
I turned 21. I turned 21 literally five minutes ago. And I walk in there by a tall boy of uh, Bud Light. I go up to the counter, and it's this obese, greasy-haired dude with a beard. And I just walk. I throw it on the counter. He's like, can I see your ID? And I'm like, I show it to him, and I'm like fucking shaking, like nervous as shit. He's like, is this really is this really what you want to get for your first, 21st birthday? And I'm like, yeah, it's good. And the dude, in a most sar- sarcastic way possible, is just like, oh, how would you know it's good? I'm just like, fuck, fuck you. You work <laughs> at a gas station. <laughs> you didn't say that, dude. Did you? No, I didn't. I wanted to, but like, I'm too nice of a person to say that. that guy. <laughs> we should Most have flagged him. <laughs> <laughs> we should have flagged him. Working at a gas fire. station, motherfucker. Where's the store? Where's the store? <laughs> what hour Moto of the day did Mart you go that? Fuck. I'm sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just walk in. You work at a gas station. Yeah. Fuck you. He's like, I am employed by a gas station. He's like, I have seven the Honestly, kids, the honestly <laughs> God, that's probably what it would have said. Leave. I am employed by a gas station, yes. How would no. you know? How would you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, but then we just walk out of there like clapping hands like fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck, fuck that like, guy. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? But like we're walking out of there like... <laughs> Got that ass. <laughs> like, that guy's probably fucking like not coming back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we totally made him quit. We're staring at him through the window. One of us is like flipping him off. The other's spitting on the window. The other's like wiping his butt on the <laughs> window. <laughs> this guy's like, I don't make enough for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> he quits and goes and work as, works as the fucking CEO of McDonald's. <laughs> Dude, I have a buddy. Or I told you this. I told you this the other night. I think I did at least. Uh, so my buddy's in Sig Pi at Mizzou, and he has a friend in his pledge class who is inheriting $100 million from the McDonald's family at, at some point in time. I, I think s- some other fucker's probably going to die. Shit. But anyway, um, he was <laughs> he was adopted into the McDonald's family. and So literally by chance, he's God like damn. adopted into this crazy rich family and going to inherit a stupid amount of cash. Wild really as mean. shit. Yeah, right? that's, that's fucking insane. That's winning the lottery. That's that that is winning the lottery, literally on life. You don't have to work a day in your fucking life. Nope. Unless you spend it stupid. I mean, that's why you, you get a financial advisor. Fucking dumb. What would you spend? What, what, hundred million. What would you spend a hundred million on? You couldn't name a. Fucking you couldn't name ten things that you would have to spend a hundred million dollars on. A hundred million dollars worth of. Uh, uh, name ten. Gum. Name five things. Oh, separately, private island. Exactly. A private island that fuck. Jet. Like maybe three million dollars. No, no, no. There's a YouTube video on this. Remember we watched that with the if you buy a private jet, it's like eight million, but the right, cost of it is gonna be like, like close to forty because of gas. Oh really? That's yeah. forty and million out of a hundred million though. Well, that's one that's a thing. Big chunk. That's one thing. But like you don't need a private jet. Shit. Like fuck, it. just stay yeah, where you are. Buy like a fucking t- three million dollar house. I don't fucking need to buy this fucking watch but like i did just because like i had the money at the time it's only it's only fucking three hundred dollars but like it's fucking money that i don't need to spend i mean fair it's a flex. flex i don't know flex. i just feel like most normal people wouldn't know what to spend like a hundred million dollars on no call me not normal you bitch fuck you <laughs> all right whatever <laughs> i'm down if you are on he the w- pod, he, w- he, w- he yeah. winked at me. He you can't at see me. that. You can't see that over there. No, he fucking winked at me. <laughs> That's just hearsay. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Hundred million dollars. Hundred. What did I, spend I did a report when I was in. Oh, what grade was I in? Probably around fourth grade, and I think we got some stupid amount of money like that. And that was the entire assignment: is just to like find things that you could spend a significant amount of money on. And it was kind of hard. It was kind of hard. It's hard to figure out because at first I was like, I'll get a dog. And I was like, <laughs> fuck it. I'll get like 30 dogs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not even a dent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Dent. We have a friend that like lives off campus that has a dog that he's like, I don't know, babysitting. Paying $100 for million for. <laughs> paying $100 million for. The dog's worth like $20,000. But just like, that's a dent. And $100 million no, is a nothing. dent. That's, that's $1.50. That's a dollar fifty for you if you have a hundred million dollars. That's Buck a gas 50? station soda. Uh, exactly. <laughs> it's a come and go soda yeah. for, free. for free. Imagine if like. So it's nothing. 
you walk into a, like a come and go and you have a hundred million dollars something like I'm buying this whole place yeah. and it puts like you you're fired twenty thousand dollars a dent twenty thousand dollars. You're not gonna buy a come and go for twenty thousand dollars. No, like the whole pro, like everything oh, in nice. a come and go for twenty thousand dollars. That's a lot of scanning. Is it? <laughs> I don't. No, that that's I another want question. All of your like, gas. <laughs> drain it. Just I'm start draining it. <laughs> all of the I'm gonna drain the swamp, starting with your gas station. <laughs> what, what if some pyro came in with like clearly something to like ignite a fire? And yeah. then he's like. Six hundred dollars on pump, pump, whatever, and then just starts draining it all over the parking lot. Yeah, what, what, what? why are people still? I mean, you paid for it. Uh, you do can't do that. Why you are people allowed that. to pump their own gas still? You just I mean, back in the day, they had gas, gas station that attendants that would do that for yeah. you. You could just, but like, you know, if you, you really think about it, it's kind of a useless fucking fire. job. What are you guys doing after this? Setting a gas station on fire. Me neither. It all started on the pod. <laughs> we'll like the, now. The, the headline in tomorrow's paper is going to be like four boys light gas station on fire because of nothing just of something that they talked like the the fucking headline just that you were talking about with the up. the up and down it's just going to be like the most egregious <laughs> headline imaginable <laughs> one worked at Martha's <laughs> the others did <laughs> But they met on Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh I guess that was before the podcast, but you yeah. guys, you guys had me going. It's an That's inside joke. I, we Insiders. said that we said that we met Nick on Grinder because someone actually did meet Nick on Grinder. One of my close friends met Nick on Grinder. Yeah. So if so you guys are on Grinder, look for me. Oh damn! Wait, what's the story? Were you like catfish on Grinder? <laughs> or. He was catfishing on Grinder. Yeah. Oh, well yeah. done. He was really good at it too. He yeah. Used it. He used he my got pictures. Me. <laughs> I did get him. Yeah. <laughs> I've been hooked ever since. Uh, Can't stay like away from me. Channing Tatum's in Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> Second time this month. <laughs> By the way, I found that. Uh, okay, this is written. <laughs> the The website's funny. I didn't realize it was written by this. It's called the Christian Post. So ChristianPost.com, if you want to look this up. So much sense. Priest who said he urinated in communion wine was attracted to Satanism gets 25 years for child porn. <laughs> Yo, that is a fucking roller coaster. Of that's a, a, that's a roller coaster yeah, that, of a headline. Why did the Christian tweet that? Or why would they put that yeah, out there? Yeah, tweet, I'm sorry. That's a good point. Yeah, why, why like would you want If you, you want really that? think about it, would you want to put They're that like, out yep, there? That's all of them. That's the last one. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the worst that we have. We got They're all guys. gone. Someone else got busted for child child porn the other day. Someone big. I forgot who it was. I don't I don't know what you're talking about. Well, damn. I guess it never happened. No. Let's just say let's just let's just say it was R. Kelly and move on. <laughs> Fair enough. Probably. That I wouldn't be surprised. Wait, let's let's go with the the controversial question. The. Uh, Said you said like pretty much do like a theme of your show. Oh yeah. Of you ask a controversial question, right. and then we'll go from there. So like, my show, and I've explained this before, is I get six people, insanely hammered. Yep. And I'm the one sober. Well, no, I'm not anymore. This man right here, Justin Novak, is gonna take over. Sober. Sober. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna put in quotation sober because we're never sober. You think I could deal with six drunk people? Sober? Th- fucking sober? No, I'm hammered every time I do the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time in public or I out to multiple people that I've said that. So anyway, alive. so I get them drunk, but I ask them controversial questions. And it started with politics. Now it's moved into <laughs> funny <laughs> questions is water wet type of thing. So I got a question <laughs> for you guys. And uh, let's go ahead and take a drink before I ask the first question because that's what I always do. Oh, I'm hammered. <laughs> <laughs> Already feeling it. <laughs> The question is, is hot and spicy the same thing? No. No, I don't think so. Spicy has some tang to it. Spicy, hot is like an actual like state. Like there, there, something can be cold and there's something can be hot. Spicy That's is like temperature. A, well, it's different. Then how is it different? Because like when you describe well, are you hot saying spi- something like chips can be hot, correct? 
Chips aren't fucking temperature hot. I think if I hot. think a chip is hot, I think it's spicy then. Well, it's just so are they the thick. same thing? No, they're not. But you just said if I think a chip is hot, I think it's spicy. Well, in in the in the absence of it being hot, I would say it's spicy if it's not actually hot. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? I mean, you can call any chick hot, but you can only call a Latina spicy. <laughs> Dude, I was going to say <laughs> the exact same thing. Oh my god, bring it here! What, I, oh, I fucking love that. that. Uh, this is why. Dude, I was literally going to say that exact same thing. I was just waiting for. Oh, that's, that's I've been perfect. thinking about that since it came out of his mouth. I same, just, same. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I was gonna say like a. Yeah, like a blonde with big tits, I'd say she's hot. But like a Latina Tina with tiny tits. waist, <laughs> big spicy. ass, she's spicy. I would have thought you would read my mind. That's <laughs> funny. That's funny. That is why he is the new host. That's awesome. Oh, Nick's also the new host. But um, well, hello, <laughs> Missouri State. But yeah, honest to God, like I understand the argument for them being different. I do, because like you can say hot and spicy like wings, but on the same level, they're the same fucking thing. Like, for instance, a I mean, jalapeno. That's... That's uh, more spicy, I'd say. No, I'd say that's that more I hot. I'd say that's more hot. I would say that's more hot. Because I, I feel like spice it. is, like, a combination of, like, flavors. You're just like, oh, you got all these, like, different things that spice make it spicy. It's, like, hot. And, it's and like, tasty. something on alone, something alone, like a jalapeno, is hot. I feel like a combination of things so would make So you're saying spicy. there's no spice to a jalapeno? No, I think that's just hot. You think that's just hot? Yeah, I think a jalapeno is just hot and not spicy. Is a hot sauce spicy? No. Technically, according to this, and I... Fuck. I, I, <laughs> I, right, I he brought, he up, brought up facts. All right, here we go. Fucking definition guy. All right. Spicy, flavored with or fragment... Wait, fragrant with spice. Okay, let me read that once. Flavored with or fragrant with spice. What does fragrant mean? Fragrant? Fra- oh, Am fragrant. I per fragrant. It's, the, oh, okay. it's the thing you Fragrance. throw in. Yeah. Throw in Call of Duty. Frag out. Yeah. Fra- <laughs> Hot. I need back having up. a high degree of heat or a high temperature. This is what I'm saying. Oh, shit. Wait. Hold on. There's, Fuck another, you. there's Fuck a second you. definition. <laughs> there is no, a we're going on definition. first definitions here. So, yeah, we are fucking not. No, yeah, not. Fuck you. Of food, parentheses, containing or consisting of pungent spices or peppers, mm. which produces a burning sensation <laughs> when tasted. So, Yo, what the fuck? I got lost a while ago. I think I need to go leave. I, I think they're both right. Okay. I think, I guess you're right. Then they're the same thing. They're the same fucking. Tomatoes, okay. tomatoes. Yeah, but, same I, I difference. Like, straight up, I'm going to tell every single follower that I have. To watch this, especially because we have been de- we have been debating about this for probably you have asked me this like a few times. Two, I don't weeks. agree with this decision. Well, you're I ugly. I personally don't agree, but That's like the point. internet is the internet, so like everything's true on the internet, right? Yeah, yeah. I can't name one thing that. that's false. Uh, Fuck. Shit. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Anyway, like, so that's what I was getting at, though, is that hot. Okay, I think there's two different levels in the. Okay, dictionary references are good, but the way that dictionary references are written are just by popular usage. Right. That's true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I think the way that we use the word hot is another level of spicy. You know, so, like, so you'll describe something as spicy. But, like, when it's really fucking spicy, I think it's that's hot. what I was thinking, too. Like, if you, like, if it's just, like, an almost unbearable, like, spicy, it's hot. Yeah. But if it's just, like, you got some, like, tang in there, you got a little bit of different flavor, I think it's, it's spicy. It's spicy, yeah. Yeah. So, I, I kind of agree. I'm, I'm coming around to his way of thinking, actually. Ha <laughs> ha, that's the first time in forever. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I definitely, I, I will say, I, I agree with you with saying that I definitely use hot to describe some of that spicy. So I'd say they're synonymous, but you also use hot. Hot is like kind of like both. It's spicy and it's also temperature. 
But like right. spicy yeah. can't be s interchanged with hot. I don't think. Uh, yeah. Because like if something's so spicy that it's hot, you're not gonna be like, oh, that's so spicy. You're so gonna like be like, you, oh, that's so fucking hot. Like if you go in the sauna, you'd never be like, this is spicy. Exactly. It's not know. interchangeable in that level, but like you can say that something that is spicy is hot, but you can't say something that is hot is spicy. I would say hot's just yeah. hot, but spicy is like spicy and hot. What the fuck? What? Yeah. <laughs> so you're the okay, okay. Yeah, so I switch that around. I think that's the same thing I was saying. I thought you said hot was hot and spicy. But like you can describe something that is spicy as hot, but you can't describe something that is like hot as spicy. I feel like we should have brought something, some hot and some spicy shit. Fuck, to eat. dude! You know what we should have brought? Those goddamn wings. Where they dab the like hot ones? Where oh, they the dab hot the ones! Wings? God, that's such a great YouTube show. Oh, you should do you know, that on the show. I feel like well, these are questions we should. You've be never watched hot ones? I I think I've seen like thumbnails for it. Like, oh, like you the should fire on the bottom. You should get invested in it. hot ones. They do. It's like a YouTube show where they like just like increase the level of like basically like hot sauce on each wing, and they have celebrity guests. It's fucking crazy. Who are some of the big celebrities questions? that have been on? Oh, um, uh, hundreds. Post Malone. Oh, hundreds. Post Malone, uh, Wiz Khalifa, Eric Andre, Eric Wiz Andre. Khalifa, yeah. Eric Andre's was fucking hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, they had Bill Burr. Uh, they had Gordon. I'm Ramsey. watching. I'm watching Eric Andre right now. Eric after Andre's this. is fucking hilarious. Hot one ones. of the funniest ones. Well, yeah, but I, I should agree you know, with that. That's where I got the format of six drunk, one sober. Just that's, that's it, some it was good like inspiration. it was like increasing the number, include increasing the level of hot. But what I did was increasing increase the, the number of, of alcohol. Yeah, pretty much. Shia LaBeouf sheds a tear while eating spicy. Oh, Shia LaBeouf people was good cry too. on there all the time. Yeah. Oh, really? Because like they're like last hot sauce is fucking. No, they're like hot. last hot sauces. Um, you shouldn't like, like you, you can't, can't, can't you can't like cover the whole wing in it. You have to dab it. Like you have to put a little bit on there and then. I'm eat pretty it. sure that's it's a that legal hot. issue too. You can't. Yeah. No, like it can hurt you. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Like they, they like can't. Eat, like a ghost pup, a ghost pepper, and it like burns a hole in their esophagus. No, the I'm host the host of Hot Ones ate a whole ghost pepper, a Carolina ghost pepper, and Jesus. so because just because of how accustomed to spicy or hot. How do you make that? How would that make spicy. him feel? Well, which is it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the hot or spicy? Yeah. How was he? Was he fine? I don't did he die? Yeah, well, he's still doing the show. Was he hot? Shit. So he did die. He was spicy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tino, huh? But going off that, I had another question for you guys. Only if you're down, though. I'm down. <sighs> a part of me, on, honestly, a part of me wants to go and get that puppy and bring it down here, too. Yo, I'm down. Like puppy on the pot. The if what? you guys want to continue, puppy on the pot. I'll just bring the go upstairs, get the puppy down here. Oh, my God. That, that 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 little, that I don't know if you wiener? guys knew this. I, knew, I know you do this, but th that dog is literally like, like I've had it for like an hour. I want to see that wiener. Yeah. No, oh, yes. yeah. oh, my God. Show Let's me the wiener. Okay. Well, that's all. Uh, it, so. Whatever this is, I want a clip of Nick saying, show me that wiener. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to fill that in in so many spaces. <laughs> oh, no. I just want to watch it. I shouldn't have said that. Right. I'll be right watch. back. Yeah, get the dog. Right in. Right. Hold on. Hold on. You guys can we, can we take a break? I got to piss. And just like that, there's a puppy on the table. Hi. I love puppies. I need a fifth mic. You showed me the wiener. <laughs> I did show you the wiener. All right, ready? That's one. We'll count how many wiener puns will be made with this. Uh, not enough. Hopefully, not pup. enough. This wiener little puns, puns on that the sounds kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two. We have an active tally. Seems pretty soft to God, me. God, I just love wiener. Three. Three. <laughs> she likes, he likes the smell of your, uh, of your beer. Yeah, it's because it's stale. I've had this open for four days. Just having four days. Yeah. Wow. Have you guys ever done that? Like, I thought it was a good idea before. I took a sip of a beer. I'm like, oh, I don't feel like drinking the rest of this tomorrow. I'll just save it for the next time I drink. Like, three, four days later, I, I put it back in. Or I put it in the fridge, left it open, and then I uh, took some sips out of it. Disgusting. You like, Disgusting. Drinking, you oh. like drinking mold? So good. Yeah, yeah right. Jesus. God, that thing is so fucking cute. It's so cute. It's such a little... A little cutie, a little scamper, a little scamper. Wait, what was your question? What yeah, was what was the question? Oh, it was, and this is an interesting one. Honest to God, is uh, did we invent math or did we did did we discover it? I 
feel like we need to get Walter White on the podcast to ask. That's what oh, I'm saying. I, uh, I feel I like think he said math. I feel like math, math is math, just a way of math. us understanding oh, things. I thought math for a second. I think he said math. <laughs> uh, and I was like, I think we, <laughs> and now, and now we know. Now we know. <laughs> now we know no, who does. Out. Now we know who does hardcore drugs. Yeah, it's, it's clearly, you guys. You clearly I'm sorry. Do. Yeah. <laughs> now we. That's where our heads are at. We're not on it. That's yeah. a good question, though. That's a good question. Do we? Did we discover? Oh, come here, boy. So it's a boy. <laughs> oh yeah, look, look. It's a boy wiener. It's a boy, as opposed to a girl wiener. The wiener has a wiener. No, it's I like really five. I've never had a dog that can get boners. I've only had female dogs until now. That's mm. really exciting. Yeah, it's it's something <laughs> to look forward to. Yeah, I've never had a girlfriend. That it's can get something boners. to look at. <laughs> Not yet, I had at least. A girl do- uh, I did. Do what? No, I forgot I had a girl dog when I was little. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude, that's cr- that's wild. Fact there. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> so the question was, did we discover math or invent it? Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, try and answer it, Smarty Band. I can't answer that. I feel yeah. like I feel like math was always there. But just like so it discovered. took like human understanding to like actually put it onto paper. I don't know. Did it? Is math just a I physical mean, understanding of the, the like physical world, or like a human interpretation of the physical world I feel that like we that's applied what it is. rules to? Like we we invented the rules. Yeah, I couldn't have. Hum- under- if, if I couldn't have said it better. But like, like if that. it's human, if it's human interpretation, then we invented it. But I mean, gravity is always a constant thing. I feel like that's, like, if we can, like, put gravity into numbers, like, that's math, and that's always been there. Possibly. Or, you know, someone just... I mean, ma- gravity hey, didn't just fucking invent itself. Like, it w- we weren't flowing around, like, 5,000 years ago. Right, but is that totally were, were math? You here? I feel like... <laughs> 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 Shit. We can't there's say that for certain. <laughs> there's somewhere, there's somewhere, like, deep in the, in, like, in the, the history wilderness books. that there's just a button that says gravity. <laughs> Push. <laughs> now we're all fucked. <sighs> no, I think I think math is always I think math like what he said, I think what Jordan said was right on the fucking right on the fucking knife. Don't say money. <laughs> he hit the knows. hammer on the nail. Oh. He hit the hammer on the nail or he hit the fuck it. Alright. Yeah, Continue. fuck you. Hit the nail on the head. I think I think he hit the hammer I think he hit the hammer on the head right when he like when he said like it's just our interpretation of like the natural world. High little pup. Because I know calculus was invented just to explain astrophysics. I believe it was something. It was something related to like physics or like astronomy. Got that from a Neil deGrasse Tyson podcast. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's a fucking god. He's a god. I have a shrine of him in my room. It's, it's also it's a uh, it's attributed to sanctism. Very <laughs> very, very <laughs> tightly, very tight knit right there. It's just like the stage of life I he was in. I feel like where I am right now is just where I'm supposed to be. And math would explain that. Yeah. Wow, oh, same. <laughs> math would explain that. Because, like, one plus one equals two. You know, where you're at, where you are, equals where you're supposed to be. That's all I'm saying. But, no, it's an interesting question. That came up with the had. concept of math. You did. I didn't do that. Yeah, I know. You're not uh, smart enough. Pretty sure that was Pythagoras or something. He came up with the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah. A, Yo, plus a plus, plus the B squared, squared equals C squared. C squared. This guy's st- All right. Oh, Jinx. Jinx. You owe me a fucking soda. Wait, percent? Uh, my stuff is not working, so I don't know. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Wh- what's the What's the other one? The The one that people say all the time? Hmm? Uh, the math. The math that, that people oh, say all the that time? That <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Negative A or negative B. Oh, ne- a plus negative plus positive wait. equals. No, what the fuck? A negative times positive. I know positive equals about. a negative. There was like a song for it. Negative B plus or minus, minus the square root of. Square root of B squared minus. Yeah, AC what the fuck is that? What the B fuck A's. is? Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? I think I got <laughs> it. I don't know. This motherfucker. Oh, it's never good. Negative at math. B plus or minus the square root of A, C. Dude, what is that formula? 
fighting me, and it's so cute. Uh, oh. Wait, wait. I think it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. No, that's Pythagorean. That's Pythagorean. Wait, yeah. wait. What was that's, what was the one we're trying to find? The hypotenuse of a triangle. What's the one you, we're trying to come up with? Negative b negative plus b or minus the square root of a c squared minus four a c all over two a. a. Yeah. Negative b plus or minus. Is, fuck. Hold on. Uh, someone keep talking while I figure this shit out. Negative b minus. Fuck. You, dude, I will. Type plus or minus. I have an Android. <laughs> I have an Android. Okay, and here's why. I why? Hate, I hate Apple. Why? Well, so much. Apple, Apple rules the world. Why would you hate them? It doesn't mean I have to fucking like them. It's just easier. Well, Exotica helps everybody see better. I don't like them. I think they're corrupt. Oh yeah, they slowed their they slowed our phones down. What does this have to do with Exotica doesn't slow their phones down. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't love Apple, but I'm getting an iPhone after iPhone. No, oh, but yeah. It's other, just other than other than their cameras, like I've always supported Android. That dog. So dude, were you the that dude dog. that was taking snaps like a few years ago, and your snaps were like? <laughs> I will fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were. That hit home. Yeah, here's were the fucking thing. People you back. Like, what did you take this picture with? He added me on Snapchat, and dude, I didn't add him back, too. so he doesn't know. Uh, what my snaps did are. I add you on snaps? Yeah, you did. I never added Where? it back. So Android's cameras haven't gotten any better. Up. I don't even have Snapchat. Yeah, here's the thing. He does. I, I, use, I just uh, never added it back. Kick. It's fucking adorable. Kick is actually out of business. They literally shut down their system like I two know, days ago. Really, sucked lately. really? Not to mention MySpace has been down all week. <laughs> Kick. <laughs> <laughs> Kick was always the uh, the really creepy thing that like guys would go and like hit up girls and be yeah. like K I K question mark. You got a kick. Know how kick. Kick. Works. Kick question mark. I just know it, it had like it was like green, right? There is it a messaging app? It was I a messaging know. app. I'm pretty sure. But why why not just ask for their number and why ask in the Instagram comments? I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> why that? No it, fucking. Because nowadays it's funny, if you're like. What's your kick? <laughs> 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 I think they mean to type "What's your kink" and just forget the end. <laughs> Honest to God, you think that's what they're forgetting? What's your kink? The end. Whoever yes. those guys are, they're kind of my heroes because they come out swinging. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah full sense. Uh, you're not, you're not getting day. on kick to talk politics. No, good point. It's like the uh, Tinder of messaging yeah. apps. Yeah. Maybe Pretty it's much, like anonymous. Yeah. Maybe that's what they like about it. I don't is it know. anonymous? Is that where you go on like if you go on Omegle and you, you find some Omegle. girl on there? Is that is Omegle like w- once you get through like the fifty dudes jacking off and you yeah. meet you meet a quality girl on there because she's the love of your life. Obviously, you met on Omegle, <laughs> but are you going to kind of go like is is Kick going to be your next move? Like how do you move it from Omegle to like where are you moving it to? I do not know. I don't know either. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Mm. I I. I've only picked up like ten girls on Omegle, so. Omegle. Only I ten. I don't know. Only <laughs> ten. Uh, here's, here's, here's how many here's dicks though? <laughs> Dude, I saw a lot of dicks <laughs> in the process. You, it's, you, uh, you gotta sift through the dicks. It's just like life. You gotta sift through the dicks to get to the good shit. That's fucking yeah. beautiful. Mm. It's like elephant. That's a hunting. metaphor. I really. Just, I, it's like life, so yeah, using the word like is a metaphor. Using the word like in any context is a metaphor. Yep. It's as like compared to a simile. <laughs> like her ass. Oh. Yeah, like her oh. ass. Shit. Like her you know ass. What I'm saying? Like, like her, her ass. Damn it. Lick her ass or like her ass? Both. Whatever you're feeling. <laughs> hey, <laughs> if you like it, you lick it. Yeah. And if you Do you like eat it, booty? Have you, you got like any it. of you guys eaten booty? Can we open up about that? Oh my God! I'm not ready right. to speak. <laughs> 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 the, the first time, I plead the fifth. The first time yeah. Nick ate my ass was wild. Yeah. Tell him about it, Nick. I don't. It was so wild I blacked out. I don't remember. Just I completely sober too. Just like yeah, bliss, no, I was just like bliss. so like it, it was ecstasy you blacked in the out moment. Or browned out. Blacked. <laughs> 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 he ate shit. I never understood that, though. Like, going back to the Omegle topic, I've never understood why people go on there and just whack off. Like, what happens whenever two dudes, and this clearly has happened, 
what happens whenever two dudes are just shifting through the Omegle and then they just they come to another dude? I think that's like probably eighty percent of Omegle. Oh, Yo, like yeah, I was, I was good. A gay dude, paradise. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. You just get exactly what you want right up, right up front. Yo, I was gonna ask you guys this though. What's your worst Omegle experience? Because everyone has one, especially our age. Everyone has one. It's a good point. I've never been on Omegle, honestly. Okay, so you're gay. What's that? Oh, like? okay. Oh. Edit that. <laughs> Editor. I don't know. Obviously, see a lot of dicks. I think I saw a fake suicide on there. But it was fake. It turned out to be fake because I, I went online mm-hmm. later on and I saw the mm-hmm. exact same video on YouTube or something like that. But, yeah, yeah, it was it was definitely the fake suicide because we believed it in that moment. Like, in the moment, we were, we were like, oh, my God. Like, we literally just shut the fucking laptop. We're like, Wait. my God, we just saw a suicide? What? what? Was it the guy that did the – that had the gun and rolled the bullets? Like, he had one bullet in the gun and then – and shot himself? No, it was just a guy hanging. Oh, yeah, that's fake shit. At the time, though, it was scary. Oh, oh no, yeah. at the time. If you, if like, you roll across fuck? that, that's fucking terrifying. Yeah. Especially, I mean, you, you're just going through all the dicks. I don't... What, what was your guys' goal of, like... Dick, dick, dead guy. <laughs> dead guy. Dick. It's like, fuck dick this website. Dick, dick, <laughs> dick, dick, dead guy, <laughs> dick, 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 tits. Nice. <laughs> it's worth it. dick. I, I never really... I don't remember what my goal was. I don't know, maybe just to talk to people, or... I don't remember really having much of an objective with my No, it was the, mine was to Dicks. fuck with people. Dicks. It's nice. Dick is a great word. So versatile. Yo. Oh, that's another so thing. So short, gonna, simple. That's, that's another thing the I was going to ask you. There's the words fuck. You can use fuck anywhere. And that's the thing I was actually going to ask on the podcast is, what's your favorite all-time insult? Your go-to word. That you just Party. dig into someone. I asked that though. Screw you. I mean, you <laughs> could always say, "I wish you were aborted." Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> is, is now the time? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I've never heard what we so about, about my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so shifting topics. <laughs> From dicks to abortion. Uh, <laughs> From what let's what see, creates? We covered omegle. Yeah, abortion. Yeah, that's what we're on. That's uh, apparently. Okay. I'm pro-choice. I'll I'll say it. I feel comfortable saying that. Nice. Me too. I'm pro. I feel like most people our age are pro-choice, just because I don't know. We see it. We see it differently than the generation uh, before I'm, us. I'm pro. I'm out of the conversation, and uh, I'm gonna let the females handle this one. I'll say that. Yeah. It's yeah their I'll bodies. Let them choose. I I definitely see it from. I, I don't know. I, it's a, one of those things I totally see both sides, but I have an opinion, if that makes sense. No, I, like I, I think I have my mind pretty made up on it. I, I, I have an opinion. I just never insert it. It's like, so I, like, controversial. Like, I always, like, even if I were to say it, people would automatic, automatically dismiss me as a guy. So, like, I'm just not even going to insert it. Oh, so, no it's, it's more like... Y'all choose, and uh, I'm going to go with whatever you guys I feel do. like you still deserve the right to have an opinion, though. At least oh, 100%. yeah. No one can but, take your opinion away from but you. But it's, it's just, like, I have that opinion. It's just, like, to me, it doesn't matter because the repercussions, to me, are a lot less. Well, yeah. It doesn't affect female. you as much as it You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. No, but I, li- I like Dave Chappelle's argument on it. it. His thing that he did in stand-up <laughs> is, like, basically, like, women, you got the right to choose. All right? You guys choose that, but if you choose to have the baby, I at least have the right to abandon the motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Which is it's true. Like, like, said like if you if can kill a baby, I can at least, least abandon it. <laughs> if you're gonna kill the motherfucker, I have the right to abandon him. Which is true. Like, if if you're gonna have the motherfucker and we're gonna have this equal shit going around, then fine. But like, I don't have to pay the child support. I, I kind of like that point of view because it gives both parties some leverage, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like, you want to have the baby? That's cool. I'm down with that. But uh, I'm not paying for it. And then he his exact quote is, my money, my choice. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is savage. That's that's good stand-up. That's my favorite thing about stand-up. You say the most ridiculous, savage shit, and it's rewarded. Oh my it's God. not taboo. But I that's, that what, that's so why much. I love 
stand like do you just stand up at all no no i've never tried you it fucking shit i've always thought do. that's something I, I i would be interested in i know giving a go i know justin here does stand up it no actually shit. i've dabbled yeah. really i do yeah. it sometimes I have, it have you ever done that at the blue room yeah really yeah. yes i haven't yeah. done it in a little while though let me ask you guys this question we can get back on to like your experience with stand up because I'm, I'm very curious about that i asked a group project that i was doing i asked my group this what's scarier like what has more fear distilled in it if you had to speculate doing one hour of stand-up comedy in front of a crowd of five thousand, you can't just walk off stage you have to stay up there for the entire hour you have as much time to prepare as you want or skydiving i'm taking the one hour mm. that's hard or that's scarier scarier no no skydiving scarier no yeah, i think skydiving scary. would be a lot of fun i think s- sitting in front of a crowd of like however many people would be terrifying get me drunk i'll go for an hour yeah, I could go for two. Cause like you're not just for stand up. Ho oh, oh. ho. Oh. <laughs> no, he means like uh no like homework, tw- homework and times. stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. homework. So yeah. you're a productive drunk. He's a functional alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> like uh, what he means by he can go an hour while being drunk is of course uh Bible study. Um yeah. hey. other studies. He can go an hour. Hey, I'm down dog. Listen, if you want attention from me, I got you. What, w- what would you go with? Honestly, I think I'd agree with you, man. I uh, I would say stand up would be it would be scarier to me to be up in front of a crowd of five thousand no. people uh, for an hour. Mm, I think right. I could jump out of an airplane. I think I, I could I, jump I think out I'd, of an airplane. No problem. I think I can and I will at some point in life. So. It appears we are across the aisle it's, on this one. I might embarrass this myself or I might die. But I think I think the probability is like it's four in anything. every million or something. I looked it up one time. Really, it's like super low. Four people in every million. I'm t- I'll so take you're just odds. as likely yeah. to have a heart attack on stage. Yeah, exactly. I it's think either it's that or you save yourself the embarrassment, like and just go skydiving. I think it's fear of I social judgment for me. You think you have like the the exactly and just bombing, like bombing. So here's what I found out from bombing because I've d- I've done stand up as well, and I'm sure Justin can contest this. Is that bombing essentially is just fucking like nothing. Like your adrenaline goes way the fuck down but um when you bomb on stage you just know that you're just not you're either a not hitting the right audience or b um just what you're saying is a topic that maybe you shouldn't be talked on Mm. at least from my thing because like i i've done stand-up on abortion race like suicide i have done topics like funny topics on so much shit and controversial oftentimes fucking hits with people but like if i do a uh, a topic on abortion in springfield missouri people are going to look at you and be like what the fuck are you serious you should have been aborted ironic i know but uh, <laughs> like th- they'll hate me for it so it's it's less nerve-wracking to sit up there and just because all stand up is just, and I'm a selfish fuck, fucking dude. Like, I'm arrogant as fuck. See, look at myself, point the camera. Bye, six drunk shit. I'm arrogant that as fuck. Even the six drunk shit. Bye, <laughs> six Multiple drunk. Multiple sclerosis. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, the Multiple <laughs> sclerosis <laughs> hoodies. <laughs> Bye. Even just one sclerosis. If you have MS. <laughs> just a single sclerosis. If one you sclerosis. have MS. I. But um, I'm arrogant as shit. So, like, I like to talk about myself. And that's what stand-up does. Like, you get to tell stories. You get to tell it in the way that you want in some factor that, like, you don't get to just be with your friends and, like, tell stories because, like, some sometimes friends will interject your shit. People can't do that. You just speak whatever the fuck you want, and it's so relieving to be able to do something like that. It is when you do well. I The closest I'd say I came to bombing, so when I did... I haven't done stand-up in a few months, but when I was doing it, like, I would get super drunk in the parking lot beforehand. For, like, an hour, I would take shots in my car. Nice. Thank you. Flex. (sighs) Flexes. All flexes. Shitty vodka. And... What's the the crowd looking like? Blurry. (laughs) And... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, there's... He he said shitty vodka, and and this was in his bag. That's... I I, I just (laughs) want to say that. (laughs) I've been outed. And... The closest I'd say I was to bombing was when I made 
like 80% of my material about religious shit. Oh, really? And then I told the jokes too fast. There wasn't enough time to understand because it was like, it was shit you kind of had to think about. And after that set, like, all the, the laughs were too late. So the laughs were starting when I was on to a new joke. All the timing was fucked up. That shit hurts. Like, when you're, when you walk off the stage after that, you're like, my life sucks. Really? Yeah. I just, I think there's a lot more, um, attention to detail that goes into stand-up than you think it's not just going up there and telling jokes it's about being like timing like you said Mm -hmm. the timing of the jokes and it's like the like level of intelligence of the jokes like you got to know your crowd almost yeah and down here it's a lot of middle-aged i think i think it's a lot of middle-aged bible belt people yeah that like you can't make too many religious jokes Yeah, i wish i could talk to 22 year olds all day you, know, you think so? 18 I, I to think 25 year olds, I'm good. Like. I can make jokes about jewels, yeah. fucking vapes. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> See, that's the weird thing to me is that like people that are older don't get the jokes that like younger people do. And they, just like if you like if you had a crowd of 22 year olds, if you would l- be able to make so much easier jokes than you would to a crowd of 40 like five year olds. But this whole generation, it's like. The style of jokes is completely different. Everyone's like, "Oh, like today sucked. I'm gonna kill myself." You say that to someone over forty, and they're like, "They're like, are, are you okay? Are you, are you good?" No, someone like, like, someone under true. twenty-five is like, "Same, dude." Like, uh-huh. it's but a like, complete, there's a huge barrier between generations. I think that might be that might be associated with like the fact that you have like maybe like those people that are like older, like forty-six, forty-five, somewhere in that area, have kids at that point. So they're just like it's just a whole different set of concerns, because mm-hmm. if like you're a kid like telling those jokes to like forty five year olds, they're like, holy shit, what if my kid's going through the same thing? Like, what if he that's what he's thinking? Mm-hmm. But just like, I feel like our generation has just put like we joke about a lot of shit, and it's just like a way of like I think it's a way of more of like understanding. Like, we understand, like, what you're going through, but let's just joke about it to make it easier. Well, also, because of the way we use the internet compared to anyone older, the shit we watch online that's funny is completely different. Oh, my God. TikTok? A a fucking 45-year-old wouldn't understand TikTok. You show show anyone over 40 a Trevor Wallace video, and they're going to be like, I I don't get it. Yeah. But... It's like they're they're not gonna see anything online the same way that we do. We are looking at different shit. We're looking at Twitter. We're looking at we're not whatever's on Facebook. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's all old people. Yeah, I don't get on Facebook. I don't get on Facebook. I get on because Facebook goes. You have 97 notifications, and I get on. I'm like, get the red thing away so it doesn't say I have notifications. Yeah, same. And then same. I get off. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, so I do the exact same shit. One time about a year and a half ago, so Facebook always texts me shit. It's like your friends posted 500 things this week, and I'm like, whatever. They kept doing that, and I didn't know if you replied, it posted it as your status. And like a year and a half ago, I replied in all caps, and I was like, stop fucking texting me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to end it. I was like, stop fucking texting me. Unsubscribe. I got on like a month later, and that was my status. I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like two likes. That's funny. Yeah. Everything no. good at home? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I, I do think that there's a disconnect with older people in terms of jokes. I th- and because I think uh, today's world, honest to God, the jokes are more fucking, dude, I can't. And I honestly think. It's like savage, you think? They're I'm more They're more dark. They're more dark. Mm-hmm. Like, they're I think a that's lot just what our more generation's dark, accustomed bro. to at this point. Like like we well, that's internet. my favorite kind of humor, though. Yeah. Honestly, like the no, most fucked up shit. But, that's kind of what it's got. But, that, but that's proved my point. It, that's your favorite kind of humor. That's mine too. And like, I promise you, uh, I have heard jokes about 9/11, the Holocaust, like anything, any yeah. tragedy you can fucking name. Do you think there, you can associate a joke about that though, with like us having the internet and like us having to uh, like an abundance of information, oh, and, like yeah. already knowing about it, and it's like. Yeah. All right, I understand how it was like bad, and I understand how it was fucked up. But let's, like, let's, to let's lie in the mood, let's make it. a joke about it. Yeah, part, part yeah, yeah, that. yeah. That's exactly how I see humor. That's yeah. exact. Like, I don't know. I, I don't. I think humor is just a way of healing, almost. Like, it's almost a way of getting over the fu- thing. 
It's it's letting other people know that you have fully accepted it and you're cool with it and you don't need to be like right. like hey don't tiptoe around this topic with me like honestly they're they're like I I can have a full on conversation about this topic and yeah. like but I understand the fact that it happened and I understand that it was a bad thing no. or I understand that like the, whatever it is it is it it, it is right. the reason I have this dog right now is because my dog passed away on Thursday and my mom pretty much my mom or she was riding on a bike had the dog attached to the bike and then fell over and like the dog died like she fell on the bike going down a hill at a pretty quick pace and my mom Damn. got a little scarred up and i literally made a joke about that like minutes later like no, minutes but, after but, hearing but, that, that i was like that, mom do you, are you buying this other dog because right. to cope with the fact that you're a murderer and and like my sisters like thought it was funny because it was so fucked up but dude i that's my favorite kind of humor and that's the appeal i like to go to most which is why i'm very curious well, in stand-up comedy as far as like personally trying it is i like pushing boundaries man i like pushing boundaries because like, i feel like it's real that's what that's what stand up i got is. i got two things one with the kind of yeah. jokes our generation makes i feel like it has to do with the fact that we grew up every day we're seeing school shootings on the news it's like bombings it's all that shit like you're gonna deal with that differently than someone who's middle-aged and like you know yeah like the like, way we see it everything we're going to deal with it differently yeah and we've grown up that differently but secondly what we were saying about making jokes to deal with shit there was some shit about a week ago about someone that died that was i'm not going to go into it because it was like in springfield and shit i think i know you're talking about but yeah yeah, yeah. and i made i made a joke about that that night because i was drunk and this girl this girl was like you can't do that like that's not okay all this shit but I, at the same time i'm like you didn't know this person. None of us know this person. If you're going to get upset about every person that dies, go online, look up how many people are dying in every country every day, and your whole life is going to suck. Yeah, yeah, you can't, yeah. You don't need to waste time about someone you never knew that has no bearing on anything to do with you. No, that's a good point. Oh, let me ask you this. You're if you pass away out. tomorrow, like, let's say, let's say, like, how you passed away was a little bit humorous. Yeah. Or there's, like, a good, there's a good little jab you can make you're in Elvis that joke. and you shit on the toilet and died. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Something like, like that. That's just funny. I'd say that a friend shit. of yeah. my friend, <laughs> a friend of my friend, go at it. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> put yeah, yeah, it yeah. In your fucking routine. I don't care. Whatever I did. If you're if you're my boy though, probably chill for like a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> if you're my boy, chill for a couple months. Just that's be sad that, about it a little I, bit. I, I want that red at my funeral. <laughs> hey, if you're my boy, <laughs> yo, the like, priest at the fucking <laughs> the priest at the funeral. If you were his boy, don't make a joke about this for a few months. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. Like, like, didn't like, know him, go at it. <laughs> like, if you like, didn't know him very well, ass. just roast like, him. like, straight up, like, my boys at the funeral are going to walk up and be like this. <laughs> they're going to be like this. They're going to be like, listen, like, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> like, fuck. Like, if you didn't know him, like, <laughs> like, fucking maybe chill. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to fucking see. I have this it the other way. I think I'd have it the other way around. I'd have anyone that's close <laughs> to me like start fucking making jokes right off the bat, and then just call out those people who don't know me very uh -huh. well. Just be like, if you're making jokes about me, and if, I, if I'm passed away, and like you don't know me very well, fuck you. Yeah. If you're like, making those jokes to someone that it's not going to affect, go at it. If you're making it to his brother, dead guy's brother. Yeah, like you know, fuck you. Like what like you like. Like, if you go up to a dead guy's brother and, like, <laughs> LMAO, like, dead. <laughs> what a dip like, shit. Yeah, fuck That's you. Fucked. <laughs> Live much? Again, know your audience. <laughs> 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 yeah, know your audience. Dude, that's Yo. what I love about Anthony, Anthony Jeselnik is he literally yes. tries to make – he says – he talks about this on stage. He likes to make a joke, like, the day of. Like, the day of he tries to make a joke about that. That's when it's going to hit the hardest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, honestly. Like, like oh. you, you, you laugh at those jokes. Like if, like you make the joke of the day of, you're gonna laugh. The joke, mm -hmm. the joke. Fuck you. You're gonna laugh, but like deep down inside, you're like, oh, that was kind of fucked up. Uh -huh. And that's what I think it does. I think it draws attention to it. You're like, hey, this is actually fucked up. I'm joking about it, but it's fucked up. No, early on, that joke is gonna kill. Yeah. <laughs> it, it also depends. Shut how the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> It, it depends how you deal with shit as a person, too. Because when I hear some really fucked up shit, I just want to laugh at it. Because I'm like, there's no... Like, I could like be sad about this, or I could laugh at it and, like... Get go on with my day. Yeah. Like, 
at a funeral, I might cry. I might what? not. Though. Yeah, at I a funeral, that's like, different. It's kind of <laughs> I mean, uh, like I might like cry at a funeral. I might cry. I might fucking joke about your dead grandma. Like it's just <laughs> like it's up in the air. Honest to God, do not bring me to your funerals. <laughs> Your family dies. Stay away from me for months. <laughs> and then after those months, come to me. I'm gonna have some sick fucking jokes. <laughs> Once you're done grieving, come for comic relief. <laughs> god damn it. No, but honest to god, that's what it is. Isn't that it? It's like this. What is it? The five or seven stages of grief. Something yeah, like that. I mean, like it's like joke. denial, and then it, you come to acceptance, and then that. Uh, I like think acceptance is saying, the joking part of it. That's like full acceptance. That's yeah. like another level of acceptance. I, I think. It like goes I mean, I feel like. Than comedy. You think anyone was making a fucking joke about 9-11 the day after 9-11? Someone yes. was. Someone was, Someone but they was. already accepted it and moved on, but like most of like the United States did not accept it. That's why we were in a Just cause fucking 11-year war. Yeah. Okay. Just because they mo- can move on quicker, they come off as insensitive, in a way, but everybody Makes copes sense. differently. Tell me this. Yeah. In what year is... Now, bear with me here. What year does 9/11 become okay to joke about? When is that funny? It's a good point. Years. Because I mean, it does, I think right it depends now. on the person, though. That's the problem. I think it's you for think some people, it's never going to be okay to joke with anyone from in New York. Anyone in New York is never going to be okay, be okay yeah. to joke about. But like, I think I think it depends on the person that you're de- telling the joke to, and that's why I feel like in stand up, bringing this circle, bringing this circle full circle, I feel like you got to know your audience a little bit. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fucking phone. You want to what? There's you bring no I'm bringing this full circle. You no one in the circle. 2019 is like, you can't make that Abraham Lincoln joke. Like, he died. Well, yeah, right. But in Dude, 1865, I've seen parody accounts. you know, they were like, chill for that a little bit for that. No. <laughs> Same with Kennedy, though, right now. It's like, that just be, like, I've seen so many memes of, like, yeah. of Abraham Lincoln and JFK, like, together. It's and, like, like, the caption is, the most open-minded presidents. Yeah. Open minded? I mean like what the fuck? Oh that's funny, yeah, but then yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. if you think about it, <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, wow. I was like, wait, I, what? What? Okay. He's not it, ready, I get bro. It. He's not ready. I get it. I get it. Yeah, it hasn't been I long feel like I <laughs> need some more time. Dude, it's been like hundred and fifty years. Like bro, the fuck <laughs> out, bro. I learned about him in my history class like pretty recently, okay? Yo, no lie. <laughs> I, think, he freed I think the slaves, we gotta bro. take this like, dog upstairs though. You want me to? No, I think it, like he's been looking at the bottom of the table, like he's about to jump off. Okay. I know we're joking about like suicide and shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You guys continue, and I'll take Grandma upstairs. All right, cool. All right. I'm literally. By the way, you want another beer? What? Yeah, I'll take another. Oh yeah, thank you. Enjoy, enjoy that. Not six drunk, one sober koozie free beer. Yo, that dog is cute as fuck though. No, that dog's like fucking dog. adorable. Fucking I adorable. held it like at least three times. Let's take this I haven't time. Held it yet. Let's take time. Let, let's take this time to introduce six drunk ones. So What's up? All right. So a podcast that I host, uh, I get six people drunk, like I said earlier, and uh, get them crazy drunk and ask them controversial questions. Uh, I'm now the producer. I'm not going to be the host. This motherfucker over here is going to be the host. His name's Justin. This Justin is going to be the host, right? All right. That's why I'm not the Call host anymore. Novak. Okay. Novak. And then he is the host of uh, Missouri State. Six drunk, one server, Missouri State. Now, we're expanding rapidly here. So uh, if you are at a different school, if you're not, fine. I don't fucking care. If you're at a different school, um, I'm trying to hire hosts. From Contact this motherfucker. From all other colleges so like let's fucking do it you know different walks of life all different walks of life we want to hear your opinions we want to hear your opinions on controversial topics here's the thing all different walks of life really you guys are now limiting people in wheelchairs (laughs) all different walks crawls or scoots 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 and just sits. Just, just sits like all different sits. Just like life. everyone from life. Like we want to <laughs> hear from you. Like there's no discrimination here. Whatever your deal is, we don't give a shit. We don't give a shit as long as you have some shit to say. If your voice we want to hear it. Drunk. <laughs> oh, all different scoots of life. If Join you're a us. fucking parrot, if you can host this shit, you can talk. Yo, if you can mimic a voice, 
can read questions off a of paper, dude. Yo, give me your best Barack Obama voice. O- Obama? I said that, yeah. I did. It's Obama. Okay, so he's still gone. So now would be a great time to talk shit on him. <laughs> All right, yo. <laughs> yo, what's this guy's deal, though? Yo, it's for real, though. This guy's fucked. Like he's just giving, uh, giving us all these dirty looks and shit. Like, whoa, whoa that was intense. <laughs> Yo, I thought that was a piano. <laughs> Yo, stop. I like that. <laughs> all right, well, now we can't do it I'll anymore. I'll stop. He's back. All right, stop no talking more shit. Talking shit. <laughs> uh, Damn. 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 No, no, for real, on the real, though, this guy's cool as fuck. I love his show. What's Thank your show you. called? Thank you. Uh, Jordan's Subjective Perspective. Which I've been Fucking told to listen to that shit. It's on everything. 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 Anywhere you can find your podcasts. Big Red World. Big Red World. Don't forget. We'll crack the beer on the mic. Spotify, iTunes. MySpace. Apple Music. God Kick. Damn. Oh. Hey, sounds, like a a sounds like a burnt <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I love that you guys are on the same page with that. Like with the whole comedy thing and being able to joke about fucked up shit because I've like I've debated this and I don't know if it's a gender thing or what it is. I'm not trying to come off like misogynistic right now, but I've noticed guys can joke about that a lot easier than girls can. I think it's just dealing it with it differently because girls are yeah. like in touch, more in touch with their emotions. They're going to be obs- I never know when I'm crossing the line. I know, you're I'm the same you're so no, crossing the line right now. Like, Fuck oh, you. Dude, like, I, I'm not upset about that. Like I'm not. I'm not sad at all. I'm just going to fucking make I just feel like it. I don't even think it's a gender thing. I think it's the person. Like, I just think it's how you were raised and, like, your parents and just, like, the people you surround yourself with. I agree. But, no, I, 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 mean, I, I hear what you're saying in terms of, like, girls are, it's like, statistically more emotional than guys are. Like, there are guys that are At very least they're going to be more open about it. That's what I'm saying. Like, there are guys that are more, more emotional and there are girls that are less emotional, but like statistically, emotions are going to favor the the, the females. females. The females. And there's like no debate kind of about that. It, yeah. it is what it is, and it's fine. That's what I'm saying. That's science. So like, but also, it's ironic, and I was going to talk about this. It's ironic to the point that like, people call this generation like sensitive, like oh, like you guys are snowflakes, and you guys are fucking doing this shit, and like you guys can't take this. But like I said earlier, we're also the darkest humor generation. I th- I, th- I well, believe that, yeah. At you know the what same I mean? time, when they talk shit on our generation, I'm like, who raised us? Like, yeah, fucking yeah, you guys. Secondly, <laughs> they're like, yeah. you're addicted to technology, all this shit. We were just handed it. Like, we didn't <laughs> invent the shit. You guys did. And, and they're guys also addicted. It's they're like, also addicted. Yeah. Yeah, if you give us a pack of cigs when we're nine, we're going to be, by the time we're 20, we're going to be addicted. To nicotine. Same, no, same it's, thing it's with phones. They're making every d- a- app addictive as hell. Like, they're sending you push it. notifications. Like yeah. any app you get is going to send you a notification. And be like, hey, where you, you at? Like, come, come back. Yeah. Come party. Come party. Like, come oh, party. Oh, you looked this up. Here's a fucking. Here's an ad for that. Oh my god, the amp. Don't even get me on. Started on like Siri and amp and Alexa. Like shit, like that what freaks me the fuck out. What about Google? Are you fucking? Are you technologist? <laughs> I don't use Google that much. No. Wait, does technologist mean like racist towards technology? Yeah, dude. Almost like how does that like even the, how does that even make sense though? Hold up, hold up. These motherfuckers is that like an actual thing? These motherfuckers prefer Apple. They prefer Alexa, but no one ever talks about. I just feel like hey Google. Well, if Google made <laughs> stuff more convenient and was there first, I feel like Apple was the first person. Apple was no, the they, first motherfucker. No, they weren't. They weren't the first person to make a smartphone. No, well, not, was, to, not to make a smartphone. I'm talking about. So like, wait, the, they like, were like, the first person to make a smartphone. Smartphone. smartphone is something that you don't have to fucking flip up and uh, like type. I was, I was uh, talking. I was talking about Apple Play and uh, Hey Google and Alexa. Apple I mean, Google was first to do that. I mean, do you like? Oh. All right, you're talking shit. Like you're not talking shit, but you're talking next to your like. Hey Google, whatever the fuck it's called, and you don't see an ad for Google. something you were talking about like 20 minutes later when you pull up on, you're on your computer. Someone's getting a phone call. Someone is getting a phone call on their smartphone device. Oh, on shit. their fucking Android. What's up? It's Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is. Google. Hey, what are you doing? Siri. Siri, Google. 
Hello? Is that you? Oh no. I feel bad. Like I feel like talking right now, like continuing the podcast is interrupting his phone call. Hey, no, like uh, no, just, we just a quick first. second. We Listen, were here I first. I want to bear the fuck out of Jory the Harrison. She's calling me right now in the middle of a podcast. Anyway, you guys can continue. No, let her talk into the mic. No, I'm, I really want to hear this. Put it on speaker? Yeah, maybe put her on speaker. Put it on, put it on speaker. Put it on speaker. Put her on speaker. We'll leave. Speaker. I'm going to step out of the room. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, there goes hey, that guy. Up? We're just in and out. Now we talk shit on him, right? Yeah, we talk shit on <laughs> that you hear me motherfucker. Did gone say, all right, let's talk some shit on him? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was literally walking down, like, checking my phone real quick, and then, and then I'm like, I think they're talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're talking about me. <laughs> That's funny. But what were we talking about? Uh, Alexa, like Google. I just... I think technology to the point is that is at the point where we're getting taken advantage of almost. Like, there's no privacy. No. Absolutely not. Like, I go on my Alexa and, like, I'm like, I say, hey, Alexa, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, what's the weather today? Or, like, give me the news. But, like, I'll say some shit when she's not on. And then I'll go on the fucking Amazon app on my phone. And then the same thing I was talking about is on there. That's fucked up. It's that, creepy. That, that's fucked up and creepy. I think that's a violation of privacy almost. That was huge. That's yeah. Huge. But, like, there's nowhere that says, like, you have the right to privacy. Absolutely nowhere. Apparently, you agree to it in, like, the Apple terms of service yeah, and whatnot. Who the fuck's going to read through that it's, shit? Yeah, they right. made a South Park episode, actually, about that. Um, it's where Kyle um, uh, gets an iPad, I'm pretty sure, or some shit on his phone. And, like, doesn't agree, doesn't read the, like, agreement terms of the Apple terms of service. And it's kind of like a mix between that and the human centipede. Oh, so, wow. like, people from Apple come abduct him and, like, turn him into the human centipede. And you're like, hey, your son agreed. Is it human centipede? Oh. Is it the that human centipede pad. Yeah, yes. Like, they turn him into an iPad, but it's a human centipede thing. I love the I extremes. Like I love the extremes. I think, that. that's, I think that's where, like, TV shows, like, nowadays actually, like, do their best is the extremes. The thing about South Because, Park, like, you need extreme examples to, like, understand something fully, I feel like. Yeah, right? Like, this yeah. is how yeah. dark it could go. Like, Black Mirror. This is, is how, like, too. fucked up it could be if you actually, like, if, like, there weren't laws and stuff in place to prevent this. And right. the thing about South Park is they go full circle with everything. Like, they're oh. making fun of every side of an issue. They're and not... Yeah. They don't pick sides. They're just like, no. this is all fucking This stupid. is just the state of the world. This yeah. is what we see, and this is, like, how we perceive it, and this is what we're going to show you. And, like, I think the thing with – if anyone – and if any of the viewers watch South Park, the Mr. Mister Garrison turning into Donald Trump, that's fucking hilarious. I think that's personally hilarious because it's it hit the nail right on the head with, like, how, like, he acts and just, like, his mannerisms and shit. I haven't watched the new ones or no. Oh, the new ones are fucking hilarious. They have one about ice. They have one about, like, Mark, like... I saw that. I saw that. Trade in China. Like... I'm not into politics, so... I'm a political science major, so... I mean, it's just like... You know, it's my shit. It's it's kind of your thing. It is my thing. thing. I'm a legal studies minor and a political science major. Like, it's just my shit. But going back to that, like, being able to point like poke at the truth so oh. heavily with satire mm-hmm. and just like we were saying yeah. our dark humor or whatever it is there's so much just I feel beauty in that at least to uh, me i feel like it gets the message across stronger than someone like at a university telling and you a lot oh, of 100 percent. oh 100 percent. i feel of, like sorry no no i don't know where i was going with my point go ahead I was just going to say, a lot of people get flack for doing the same thing that South Park does, but it's like they're grandfathered in, they've been doing this for 20 years, they're mm-hmm. going to get away with shit, but well, yeah. there shouldn't be that strict of standards on that. You should be able to I mean, make whatever point you need to make. I don't... However you want to make it, yeah. and then let the audience decide. Personally, I don't lead one side to the other, but like YouTube like has, in the past few years, taken down very conservative like people off YouTube. Like I know that what the fuck's his name? Alex Jones, maybe? Alex uh, Alex Jones is extreme. He's, a, he, he's a different he's story. Ex- he's he's, he's it, crazy. That's I don't a know much story. about him. But I'm talking like Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro's videos have gotten flagged and taken down. Really? Yes. What, like, do you know, like, a specific example? I, I'm pretty sure it's, like, videos that he's talking about, like, abortion or, like, gender. Like, those have been taken down. 
That's freedom of speech. It is freedom of speech, but like since like we don't have since like the United States is like laissez faire almost still in business, like they can't tell YouTube what they can and can't put up on their website. Oh. So YouTube makes those rules. YouTube makes the rules like, hey, if we find your speech offensive, like we can take it down. So like that's they don't where have to abide by the Constitution. No, no they do not. Okay. Since they're a private business, they don't have no, to. No, no. And here's where I, uh, you guys are gonna disagree with me on that, is that I believe in that, bro. Well, and yeah. Like, like, no, if you're a business, that, like, no, because like a, a bunch of uh, like right leaning conservative Twitter says that like, um, the for instance, Camilla Harris the other day tweeted and said like the president shouldn't have Twitter or whatever, and they should. Um, fucking get rid of his twitter account or whatever and people said that's a violation of free speech but and then like i pointed out that it's not because they're a private company but i believe in like i don't believe that private companies should be subject to free speech laws like i don't believe but like here's here's my thing with that is that like you set up this platform just people to speak their mind right right and like you're a private company yeah you're making money off that but if you set up that private plat that platform for people to speak their minds, doesn't that kind of like make you subject to the Constitution? Like if that's a platform for you to speak your mind and like do say whatever you want to say, you shouldn't be limited on there. At the same time, if someone is on YouTube and they're all the shit they're posting is like, fuck this race, fuck this I, whatever and that's, that. And that's where I draw the line. I think hate yeah, speech is different that, yeah, from free speech. speech. Okay. Yeah, no, you shouldn't just be able to post anything. Like, you can't just, like, be, like, a KKK member and on on YouTube. Like, and just, like, having your shit, like... Yo, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> but Back yeah. here for another vid. They, Please like, hit like, uh, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, hate speech. No, like, that's where I draw the line. It's, like, Super hate speech. Like, like hate speech, I feel like people nowadays is just, like... Oh People God. voicing their opinions <laughs> might be hate speech. <laughs> the, the guy, the guy on YouTube just goes, "What's up, YouTube?" and just pulls up their white fucking pointy <laughs> hood <laughs> and just like, "What up, YouTube?" Like, it's your boy back with another fucking uh, cross burning. <laughs> I just, like, comment, I, subscribe. <laughs> Hit us up, Patreon. <laughs> but I feel like you. Patreon. I feel like you understand most normal, like, well-educated people, not even well-educated, just, like, s- mora- morally good people, like, understand the difference between hate speech and free speech. What's the difference? Hate speech is, like, the intent of harm. Like, you intend to, like, target, like, a certain group of people. Why are you sniffing? <laughs> so, like, <laughs> <laughs> So, like, obviously some of those people are going to agree with you, and then you might be able to start, like, a re- negative revolution almost or, like, negative acts towards something. I mean, I feel like the negative act towards something is just, like, yeah, but, like, you don't want it to be violent. Like, eh. that's just, like, that's just, like, almost an embodiment of hate speech. You want to incite violence. I feel like with, like, nowadays, I feel like the difference between hate speech and being truthful is that, like, if you are you inciting violence or not? I think if you're just straight up fueling hate, well, yeah, I mean, you're. I don't know. If you're just advocating for like fuck this group, fuck that, like whatever, and let, well, then if it's a bad group, so I then, mean, yeah, there's. Uh, all right, l- let me throw something at you. Wait, is this gonna be about Nazis or something? No, but maybe. <laughs> um, what do we do about eighteen and abused porn? Where do we draw the line on that? Yeah, enlighten me. Yeah, I Nick. <laughs> fuck if I know. Maybe rape. Rape is where I would draw the line. Yeah, probably rape. Fucked. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, what no. do you mean probably? <laughs> rape? <laughs> I don't want your your question to sound stupid. <laughs> Definitely at the rape line. <laughs> right where you get before that is where you stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what up, Pornhub? <laughs> We're about to go rape this <laughs> random girl on the side <laughs> of the street. <laughs> oh like, my God. comment, and subscribe. What and up? that's fucking full circle to the fucking humor thing, man. <laughs> Yo, like, uh, exa- like right here, like, what up, hub? Like, we're about to plow <laughs> some young fucking corn, corn hub. Against what her up? consent. Corn <laughs> hub, again. 
Not people. Corn. Corn. On. Maze. Corn on the cob. It's a maze. It grows in a field. The throb. <laughs> <laughs> corn on the fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he always ones up. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to husk this or what? Actually, dude, have you seen that? The, the, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you China. trying to husk me up or what? Yo, husky girl gets plowed. Uh, anyway, husky corn gets plowed. And have you seen Huge the combine. new? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I wait, wait, what would you say? I Yo. didn't think you used that for corn. He said, like, "Hey, he said, he said, huge combine." <laughs> mute, mute, his, mute his fucking mic. <laughs> editor. Editor time. No, we can't do that. Here. Fuck. Right, okay, on Six Drunk, we scream editor if anyone says any con- anything too controversial. Offensive, like racial, that. like shit like that. Like if someone's like, hey, what's up? Like, I don't like you. They're not like, I have to edit that out because that's inappropriate. You know, you can't not like someone. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're just adding on to like the fucking snowflake rep that we have as a generation. If you do that, though, sometimes. No, I'm uh, fucking with you. Pretty much, if anyone disagrees, it's just cut. Yeah, fucking like, snowflake. Like if, I, if I disagree with you, I hate. We all like to just agree on pretty much everything. Yeah, yeah. What's up? That's that's good content. Good no. content. Yeah, I mean, no, but what work in gonna, harmony. What oh. I was gonna ask is, have you seen that thread on Pornhub? And honestly. What the fuck? We did that in perfect unison. Did oh, you see yeah. That? Oh, completely. You saw that? What? We literally, I, I don't think you saw it, but yo, no joke. The camera died right before that, too. Oh, shit. It's it's be what? Yeah, it what died. the fuck's going on? It literally on? died right before that. All right, no, 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 no. It died right after that. My apologies. Oh, okay. Fill me in. What happened? That. Okay. Hold anyway, on. No, like, we went up okay. in perfect unison Ready? and went back down and Three, went in unison. Two, Jesus. One. Now, the camera didn't see theirs. Camera's, camera's, camera's dead. Fuck you. The fact that I was trying to show you. Anyway, oh my okay. god, there's so people down anyway. here. Fuck. Okay, so um, there's a thread on Twitter uh-huh. about Pornhub, and ghost. someone quote tweeted it and said, Pornhub, but for crying, Mornhub. And then someone <laughs> quote tweeted that. It was like, Pornhub, but you're sad. For Lauren Hub. Sorry to interrupt your conversation on porn. <laughs> 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 Happens all the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's upstairs. <laughs> it, no, it's uh, it's the uh, it's next to the like you have it plugged in. It's upstairs in the kitchen, not in the kitchen. Oh, in the kitchen. Yeah. Yo, Novak. It's uh yeah, right next to the pantry, the right? Or like I'm my sorry. closet, basically. Oh, you good? Yeah. I'm just a sorry. nicotine fiend. Oh, well. That's cool. That was a funny part to walk in on, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, no, that was a really ironic part to walk in on. <laughs> we weren't talking about direct porn. It was more like, soft porn? yeah, 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 soft porn. We were soft talking about. Guy with puppy walks in on four guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, now back to. And then he closes the curtain. Oh now back to four guys <laughs> holding <laughs> big mics. <laughs> now, now back to Jordan's subjective porn. Wait, you said Morn Hub. Four more. Is this leading to Corn Hub? Because I think it is. No, oh, but we forgot to tell Grant we all don't approve of rape porn. God damn it. Shit. Ah, damn. He's going to feel think like we're bad guys. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. God. Shit. Damn ah. it. You know what? Let's all Bitch. leave. Bitch. I think we're done here. Right? <sighs> we're done. But, uh, no. <laughs> so, on Twitter, it was like, when you're, when you're upset, like, mourn hub. When you're sad, forlorn hub. When you're, uh, dude, I don't know. Like, when you tear your blanket or some shit, it was like, torn hub. And I want to ask you guys, what hub can you think of that's like porn hub? At least it rhymes. Is it the rhyme? Yeah. Oh. Um. Club hub. The fuck? Club <laughs> penguin hub? <laughs> it rhymes with porn, <laughs> not <laughs> hub. <laughs> what if... Okay. Um. Yo, wait. Twins? Conjorn hub? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it conjoined? conjoined? Fuck. <laughs> it was, yeah, it's conjoined twins. Conjoined. Are you from the like fuck New do York you know? You're a political shit? science major, not a nursing major. You don't know shit. I, fuck, I don't know shit. I just um, said that. Yeah, I know. I got nothing. 
I, I'm not creative enough for that. No. I got one. Corn hub. I already had that. Shit. Sworn hub. It's just a lot of people swearing intensely at each other. Maybe like. Oh, no, no. You could like switch up the proximity. Yeah. You know, like, like you're just start really off pissed like at someone. You just watch Sworn Hub. Yeah. Maybe so put a lot of like military officers. Just no, yeah. Out. It's just yeah. like so, so it's, it's just camp. like um, fucking boot camp officers yelling at fucking cadets. Yeah. It's like, it's like the Sworn Hub. It's like half a Full Metal Jacket. You ever seen that movie? No. Oh, no, no. half a Full Metal Jacket. So half Metal Jacket. Half Metal Jacket Hub. <laughs> what about? <laughs> Horn hub, and it's just like rhinos. And or fucking. S- I thought oh. you said porn hub. No horn hub <laughs> with an H. Do you think? Do you think horn hub? Like, do you think rhinos would ram it up the puss? Like the uh, horn for money. For money. Uh huh. <laughs> or okay, I so they respond no to monetary incentives. Whatever <laughs> rhinos <laughs> eat. We no. rhinos eat. <laughs> if you, p- I mean, uh, like if you pay them enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Maybe. know what a rhino is gonna buy. <laughs> Did you guys see one in more pussy? Trip, more pussy. Did you guys <laughs> see that like <laughs> news Bigger article horns. about that porn star Mia Khalifa, about how much she actually made? It was like hold on, about that 10,000? 10, 10, right? It was like eleven thousand dollars in her whole career or some shit. Yo, she Jeez. got. I don't believe. Yo, that. she got fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. But like, yeah, no, that's kind of fucked up. Hey, you up. ever realize prostitution's illegal unless there's a camera? I've always said that. I've that's always a, that's said a that. What is that? I mean, it's Unless legal in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, besides that. <laughs> but Amsterdam, <laughs> too. In that one part like, of the hey, United like States. 50 bucks, you know? You arrest if you got That's right always blown like, my hey, mind I as well. I got a camera. 50 bucks? She's like, yeah, that's legal. No, no, no. You can just it, it's it's porn. It's the, the police bust you. And they're like, prostitution illegal. And then you're like, no, it's cool. We got a camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's called porn. Not not. Prostitution. She's like, That's shit, fucking what, weirdo. What's the link? <laughs> <laughs> and and like, that's Yo, did you get my badge in that? It, no, and, <laughs> like, and like that's how you get the Pornhub titles of police enter room <laughs> as young teen gets plowed. Big baton. <laughs> Tased but unfazed. Yeah, Tased but unfazed. That needs to be a porn set. <laughs> oh, I brought handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Padded. You ever had padded handcuffs? No. 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 Me neither. <laughs> uh, I was told by a friend very recently that they, the girl had bought some rope and then tied him up to the bed. Mm. Sounds like he's tied down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess you could say maybe he's whipped. Possibly. Maybe. Did he t- did he include that? <laughs> Not to my knowledge. Okay. But who knows? If you're into that, no. what is that like BDSM? Is that what that shit is? I think so. Like super king. Probably. Big yeah. Dick. Suck. What is it? Corn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That's not right. It's full M- circle. Maze. Back to maze. maze. <laughs> <laughs> She's <laughs> amazed. That's amazing. Shucks me real good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what it was. It was young. Plows me pretty well. It was it was young <laughs> young ear of corn. <laughs> what? <laughs> young ear ear of corn gets shucked. That, that was the title. Do you guys young see the um get shucked? Pornhub thing when they were like promoting Save the Bees. No, I, I don't did. think so. No, no you I didn't did see that on shit on Twitter. Twitter. That's a positive message though. No, porn. <laughs> I feel like Pornhub has a more positive message on the world than most place, most things do. Dude, you they could easily do boobies. That'd be fun. I'm pretty sure that was the thing. Fuck. Do you I guys know be a who Ryan Creamer is? <laughs> what? Do you know who Ryan Creamer is? Yeah. No. Do you actually? Yes. Ginger dude? He, he makes, he has a Pornhub channel. No porn. It's like, the titles are like, just like porn titles. Like, it sounds exactly like a porn title, but then he's actually just doing like what it says. Like, ah, uh, fuck. I need to pull it up now to see what his titles are because, like, it's it's so it sounds sexual, but it's a non-sexual yeah. act. But he yeah. he does exactly what yeah, he's saying. And he's wearing like a fucking sweater vest and a tie, and he's just like picking up trash and shit. No, <laughs> like, like there's a couple of like, channels like that. Like after the World Cup, when Germany like dicked on 
<laughs> Brazil, like seven to one. I love that game. Like, there's a couple of porn channels that like posted that and said like group of Brazilian gets fucked by Germans and like <laughs> they just showed the game. <laughs> That's so <laughs> funny. This That's like so funny. Secretary and boss enjoy healthy working relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty seconds of them in the office. Enjoying a healthy working I relationship. I deliver you a pizza and don't put my wiener in it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I encourage you as you continue searching for the right video to come to. <laughs> Snapchat compilation of me respecting your boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny as shit. What's this guy's name? Ryan Creamer. Ryan Creamer. Yeah. Teacher and student make it through the lesson plan. <laughs> <laughs> Intense scissoring makes people makes multiple women come and it's he's doing he's making like fucking What's that, what's that called? <laughs> Where they're all connected. Almost like a snowflake kind of yeah. snowflake out of I paper. disrespect the cat the casting couch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the casting couch. I did that in my fucking. Didn't you do that on Twitter? In my class. Oh, you did that in class. I, pre- I presented it to my professor. I saw a meme this year. So this was the 18th anniversary of um, of 9/11, and there was a meme, <laughs> and it was like, "Am I old enough yet?" or something. And it was the casting couch in the background. Oh, it was uh, the Twin Towers on the casting couch, and it's like, I'm finally old enough, or something like that. Jesus Yo, Christ. Yo, they got fucked. Huh? Oh, twins get fucked. That's not good. Okay. Anyway, hey, I got a question from a, uh, a person on Snapchat that said, what type of dog s- is your dog? What? Uh, what is this, like... Oh, it's just for him? It, yeah. It's not for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I, I would like me. to answer. <laughs> somebody <laughs> asked me what kind of person is my dog. No, like what kind answer. of dog is your dog? I know dog what kind of oh, person okay. your dog is. A little bitch. Uh, I'd say I'd say it's, um, it's a male. You know, it's very interpretive, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll with that. But I'm trying to find that, that, that meme I was talking about. No, but what's the breed? Because it's not just a weenie dog. That, that's what it was. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh my god it's fucked up but it's good it's good humor i like i said like going oh. back to this premise of the show pretty much i had a cousin dark humor he's like oh yeah that's it <laughs> <laughs> i dude, had a cousin once so this oh dude is like in his 30s had two kids got divorced and his wife on facebook straight up put a picture of his face on the twin towers and was like he ruined our marriage like put his Jesus face on the twin Christ. towers <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, w- w- I don't get it. It doesn't. It, is it clever? I, is it clever? And I just don't understand. No, it. it's not. I, it's just insane. That's yeah. It makes no sense. Oh, because they fucked up their marriage. I d- I guess I might try to find it, but like, if I had an ex-wife, like I would put her face on the twin towers and my face on the twin towers and have them just collapsing. I. <laughs> It's just something you gotta find Both the humor inside. Sorry to in your anyone s- if you ever listen in New York. What? You're really ugly. Thanks. You look like a cute frog. I'm not gonna lie. Some girl said that to him. A girl did say that. I, I mean, it's good like photo editing. It's good Photoshop, but I, I don't understand the no, humor I d- behind I it. I don't either. Uh, Interesting. It's just something that you might Maybe find humor m- in of yourself. Maybe their marriage is on fire. Maybe it's collapsing. She's pregnant with twins. Oh shit! And then what a clever way to, to there was a meaning. Convey the there message. was a meaning to that, and that was it. I don't think she Cuts was that deep, deep about it. I think no, it she's she clearly she seems like, stupid. So. What's something awful? And was like, I'm put his face on it. Oh, to like compare him to? I guess I maybe don't. put it on OJ. I haven't time. spoken with her. Interesting. She sounds like a very clever gal. Speaking? I haven't spoken with her. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> 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 I haven't spoken. Uh, uh, spe- no, I but what? Spoked with her. What? <laughs> you show me. Spoke. You show me a video the other day about a grammar Nazi. Do you remember that? I do, but you're gonna have to refresh my memory. <sighs> Fuck. Oh no, no 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 no! You I remember it now? I know it's true. Hold on. First, what's your dog? So oh, it's a dachshund. Question. Dachshund wiener? Dachshund wiener. Dachshund wiener. Well, like all wieners are dachshunds. Oh. 
Or all dachshunds are wieners, but not all wieners are dachshunds. All right, I'm going to say uh, dicks and wieners. Dicks right. and wieners. Yep. So I did show him a video the other day about grammar Nazis. And the video was basically like this guy was like, or these people said a word incorrectly. Like they would have said whom instead of who. And so then this guy would just pop him in the chest and just shoot him and be like well maybe you shouldn't have fucking said the wrong word did he bitch. have a German accent no that's the beauty <laughs> of it he's that just a grammar just Nazi the modern he's grammar like Nazi full like Nazi attire no okay. just a bit, yeah, I think it was an office setting wasn't it it was, it was just setting. an like business Not casual wear but an office yeah why did Nazi become the term Dude, I did not see it coming. Huh. What a bad joke. <laughs> 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 Do you guys want to wrap this up? Uh, dude, I'm down for this beer, though. Oh, wow. Another beer? Yeah. It's Another one? Beers, you can do it. Generous. Oh, wow. Should I just chug this whole thing? I'm down. Yeah. We could finish all of ours. Four I drunk. I finished my six pack. So there's no again. visual representation. You had tall boys, too, right? Yeah. Four drunk. Impressive. Thank you. Lex. Then you even finish. And six drunk, one sober. I don't know. I honestly suck at chugging beer. Happy Same. Happy I don't know if that's. I have no shame in Happy staying up. No, but kick Omegle MySpace. MSN. Watch your kick. Yo. I'm curious if your mic is turned down. I thought, did you guys feel like he was a little bit quieter? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think he may have been. Probably, it's probably because he just fucking sucks. I might just be a bitch. <laughs> Might have been further away from the microphone than most I'm of us. I'm curious as to if Nick's mic was turned up because, like, I heard his voice a lot and I'm fucking sick of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're inconsistent as fuck. That's kind of hurtful. Just at it. It's Damn. pretty inconsistent. Shoot but it's kind of extremely late to be realizing this. Like, yeah. what is I mean, we're, so we're already pretty much done. Yeah. yeah, so maybe just redo it, but put Justin Let's and Nick. Let's do this okay. all again. Let's listen to it, write down everything we said, and then just do it again. Transcript. Okay. Yeah, See if we yeah, can yeah, make yeah, it sound yeah. more yeah. Like, I'm down. It's right. like yeah. a script. Okay, hold on. Right. Just, we'll cut this part, but other than that. Yeah. No. Just, are, yeah. Just, okay. 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 Are, yeah. we en- are we on so this? Are, are, we on are we ending this on final thoughts? Is that what you're telling me? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Final thoughts. Ready? Uh, go. You're looking at me. Um, you're looking at me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Final thoughts. Cornhub. Um, it's the only thing I can really think of. Buttery. Goodness. Corn. And yep, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> that's right. me. Uh, don't forget, check out. And there's no camera. Don't forget, check out <laughs> Six Drunk One Sober. Uh, on Twitter at Six Drunk, Instagram Six Drunk One Sober, Facebook Six Drunk One Sober, and uh, don't forget to follow us. We have a new host, Justin Novak, that guy over there that literally said Cornhub as his final thought, and uh, Nick, Nick, uh, Nick uh, Wansing, oh God, over here uh, is g- oh. doing Six Drunk Missouri State. Uh, That'd be me. Also, buy my merchandise. Are we the right, only four ahead. people in Missouri State with podcasts then? No, there's several. I'm really? pretty there sure there's, there's several. I, I've started up at least four. Really? Yeah. yeah. No shit. But, like, outside of... I, I don't know anybody else outside of... Uh, is there somebody? Yeah, nobody comes to mind. No. There's a famous vlogger, and that's about it. In addition to adding me on MySpace... Oh, it's louder. Follow me on Twitter. This is like getting Just close to out the mic. underscore yeah. yes back. Funny as Why fuck. Yes I even him now, by the way. He's Twitter I famous. I can hear you better now. Yeah, me too. Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I don't really know what to think of what my experience was here, but thanks, Jordan, for having us on. You Thank sound you guys. You Thank you guys. Important. That was fun. Good yeah. No, that was a good fucking time. I'm not going to lie to you. No, that no, was, that was, was fun. That was one of my more savage episodes. No, yeah. overall, that like, was a lot of fun. Just <laughs> digging into some pretty, uh, pretty into controversial some shit. shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm down. Yeah. And scene.